It's almost hard to believe that it's been 58 years since the whimsical world of Green Acres was first introduced to audiences in 1965. The show, which became an emblem of rural charm and comedic escapism, still resonates with fans old and new. Today, we're going to take a moment to reminisce about the talented cast, reflect on the legacy they left behind, and celebrate the memories that continue to delight us. Tom Lester as Eb Dawson. In 1965, a youthful Tom Lester charmed us as the earnest and somewhat naive farmhand Eb Dawson at age 27. Sadly, we lost Tom on April 20, 2020, when he passed away at the age of 81 in Nashville, Tennessee, after complications from Parkinson's disease. Frank Cady as Sam Drucker. Frank Cady was the epitome of a small town staple in his role as Sam Drucker, the general store owner. On June 8, 2012, Frank passed away at the impressive age of 96 in Wilsonville, Oregon, from natural causes. Hire somebody to deliver the mail for you. Yeah, if we could get them to change the classification from a 3ND to a 2MTHD. Now, that stands for a. I came in to ask you. A <laughs> oh, I wish I would just try and ease on. Got him in a box of Crickly Wicklies. They take 12 more boxes. I'm oh, sorry? Ava Gabor as Lisa Douglas. The elegant Ava Gabor captivated viewers with her portrayal of Lisa Douglas, the city dwelling socialite turned farm wife. Ava was 46 when she brought Lisa's fashionable and humorous spirit to the show. We remember her fondly after her passing on July 4, 1995 from respiratory failure related to a fall at 76 in Los Angeles, California. Ooh, look what I got. That's pretty. You didn't happen to get a couple of diamond air rangers, did you? No, I've got some sapphires. Because I could finish my, you know, I'm writing a book, which is right now called One Lifetime is Not Enough. And as it looks, it isn't, because I have so much living to and I've done so much already. Pat Buttram as Mr. Haney. The show wouldn't have been the same without Pat Buttram as the comical salesman, Mr. Haney. At age 50, he gave us many laughs with his character's shrewd deals and schemes. Pat left us on January 8, 1994, due to kidney failure at 78 in Los Angeles, California. Is the microphone. Could I have a volunteer? <laughs> Sorry, Art, you ain't tall enough to talk into the sardine key. Sawdust and he was metal and he had about 20 turkeys on it. And uh, when he'd get ready, he'd put a record on and uh, he- Eddie Albert as Oliver Wendell Douglas. The central character, Oliver Wendell Douglas, was brought to life by Eddie Albert at age 59. Eddie passed away on May 26, 2005 due to pneumonia at 99 in Pacific Palisades, Los Angeles, California. <laughs> the children. Yodor, Magda, Johan, Akin, Bela. Look, I'm not finished yet. Yes, you are, in your pa So, uh, uh, I believe we did, <clears throat> uh, for quite a while, a couple, couple of weeks. Alvy Moore as Hank Kimball. Alvy Moore portrayed the forgetful yet endearing county agent Hank Kimball at age 44. He passed away on May 4, 1997, from heart failure at 75 in Palm Desert, California. Oh, uh, you mind closing the door so I can knock? Why don't you just come in? Then how would you know who it is? <laughs> People ask for Anheuser-Busch natural light a lot of different ways. Around Mary Grace Canfield as Ralph Monroe. Mary Grace Canfield appeared as the ever-persistent carpenter Ralph Monroe at age 41. Mary Grace passed away from lung cancer on February 15, 2014, at 89, in Santa Barbara, California. The other place to go. Oh? Well, I'll give you some addresses. Oh, please, can I stay here? Of course you can. Now, wait. Uh... What was the fight about? Goodbye. Where are you going? Well, you're going out to get the bags. It'll be the first time we've been separated since we were married. How about that? Sid Melton as Alf Monroe. Sid Melton played Alf Monroe, Ralph's brother and a part of the Monroe brother-sister carpenter duo at age 41. 
He left a legacy of laughter that ended when he passed away on November 3, 2011, at 94 in Burbank, California, from pneumonia. That from you. <laughs> Didn't you tell me to apologize? Well, yes, but that was before Ralph said those things about you. What things? Oh, I don't... Hank Patterson as Fred Ziffel. Hank Patterson brought Fred Ziffel, the owner of the beloved pig Arnold, to our screens at 77. He passed away on August 23, 1975, from bronchial pneumonia at 86 in Woodland Hills, Los Angeles, California. When you get back to Washington, I want you to thank Herbie Hoover for me, too. Uh, yeah, now, just a second, Mr. Ziffel. You see that, that check you received? Uh, it's not yours. Thank you, Mr. Ziffel. I want you to sign something. Sign what? I want you to put your name right here. Well, I never sign anything unless I read it. The last... Barbara Pepper as Doris Ziffel Barbara Pepper brought life to Doris Ziffel, Fred's wife and Arnold's mother, at age 50. She passed away from coronary thrombosis on July 18, 1969, at the age of 54 in Panorama City, California. Just my luck you had to move in. Fred, if you don't want to go, just say so. I don't want to go. <laughs> he said that about our first honeymoon. Who resonated with you? Green Acres was a show filled with quirky characters and heartfelt comedy. Which of these memorable residents of Hooterville brought joy to your living room? Share your favorite moments or characters in the comments below. Thank you for joining us in this tribute to Green Acres. Until next time, here's to the laughter and warmth that the show continues to bring into our homes. See you soon.